Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Saturday, January the 19th. It's the first week after the Epiphany, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 20 and 21, and Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 13. And join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95 by Brother Bill to the tune of Pure Novice. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts. In the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, may the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. Alleluia. Psalms 20 and 21, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, may the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. And may the name of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel defend you. May God send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May God remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May God grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. We rejoice in your salvation and in the name of our God. We set up our banners and may the Most High fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that you, God, save your anointed. You reply from your holy heaven with the saving strength of your right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses but we trust in the name of a Most High, our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save your ruler, O God, and answer us when we call. Alleluia, I rejoice in your strength, O God, and I am glad in your salvation. You have given me my heart's desire and have not refused the prayer of my lips. For you came to me with the blessings of goodness, you set a crown of pure gold on my head. I asked life of you, and you gave it, days that will last forever and ever. Your salvation has given me great glory. Honor and majesty have you laid upon me. For you have made me most blessed forever. You have made me exceedingly glad with your presence. For I trusted in you, and through your mercy I shall not be moved. Your hand shall find all your enemies. Your right hand shall find out those that hate you. You shall burn them like a fiery oven in the time of your anger. You shall swallow them up in your wrath, and the fire shall devour them. You shall destroy their offspring from the earth and their children from among the peoples. For they intended evil against you. They imagined a mischievous plot, yet they are not able to prevail. And therefore you shall make them turn back when you aim your arrows at them. Be exalted, O God, in your own strength, and we will sing and praise your power. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, beginning at verse 1. But now, thus says Yahweh, who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. And when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you, for I am Yahweh, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, and I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. And I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. And I will say to the north, Give them up, and to the south, Do not withhold. 
Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. And everyone who is called by my name, who I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Bring forth the people who are blind and yet have eyes, who are deaf, yet have ears. And let all the nations gather together, and let the peoples assemble. Who among them declared this, and foretold to us the former things? Let them bring their witnesses to justify them, and let them hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses, says Yahweh, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I, I am Yahweh, and besides me there is no Savior. I declared and saved and proclaimed, when there was no strange God among you. And you are my witnesses, says Yahweh. I am God, and also henceforth I am He. There is no one who can deliver from my hand. I work, and who can hinder it? Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our prayers and petitions, dear God, and answer us when we call. For we do not trust in our own power, but in your saving help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.